Hi there! Thanks for taking a moment to check out ArcSight Intelligence for CrowdStrike Falcon. ArcSight Intelligence takes your CrowdStrike data and uses unsupervised machine learning to create a unique normal for every entity, user, and machine within your enterprise. By looking through this normal lens, ArcSight Intelligence provides real-time anomaly detection, surfacing previously unknown threats. Rules used by SIM software programs are great for catching known threats. But you can't write a rule for unknown threats, and that's where ArcSight Intelligence comes in. Let's take a quick look. Here's the main landing page. Here we see quickly what ArcSight Intelligence is all about, using unsupervised machine learning to distill billions of events into a prioritized list of high quality leads. We quickly see all the types of entities we track within our enterprise, along with the number of risky entities for each type. Now, we've been given some intel that a group of internal users may be planning to exfiltrate some data as a result of some layoff notices due to COVID-19. We've been asked to monitor their user base, watching for unusual data exfiltration. Let's start our investigation by looking at the riskiest users in our enterprise. We can see that Bruce has a risk score of 100. Let's see what's causing Bruce to be so risky. And since we're looking for data exfiltration, we'll use our filtering tools to include anomalies relating to data exfiltration. The first anomaly we'll look at shows that Bruce wrote an unusual amount of files to a USB device. Specifically, Bruce wrote 3,958 files in one hour out to that USB device. Now, if we look at what's expected, we can see the average is 1.5 files, and the expected high is 3.5 files. So Bruce has blown those numbers away and is certainly exhibiting unusual behavior. Let's dive in deeper. I can see the actual files being copied. There looks to be some sensitive information here file names, from presentations to financial to confidential information. This has now been reported to management, who confronted Bruce. Now, Bruce promised it was a benign activity and that it wouldn't happen again. Management took Bruce at his word, but you know what they say. Trust, but verify. So, we're going to keep an eye on Bruce's activity. We see here that Bruce's risk score goes way up at the time of the data exfiltration, and then starts to go down, but still remains high. Let's take a closer look at that time frame to see what's going on. We see the original exfiltration that prompted the investigation, but as we look deeper, we see a lot of unusual, but not necessarily risky activities, until we get to this one. We see it was very unusual for Bruce to use this process esus.exe. If you're not familiar with that tool, it's actually an open source disk partitioning tool that allows you to snapshot a disk and then create a partition and backup of that disk on a USB stick. We see that Bruce actually ran the process from his download directory, which makes it look like he recently downloaded it. We also see that Bruce used WinZip, which is unusual behavior for him. He's only used it once before. And now we see he zipped his entire C drive. Lastly, we see that it was very unusual for Bruce to write 879 gigabytes of data, considering his normal is 30.3 megabytes and his max is 3.59 gigabytes an hour. 879 gigabytes is very unusual. As we scroll over, we can see that he exfiltrated, copied that zip file he made of his entire C drive over to the removable E drive. Yeah, the USB stick. Okay. Now, it's pretty obvious that Bruce is still exfiltrating data, just this time via a disk partitioning tool and WinZip. But because Bruce has never used those processes before, ArcSight Intelligence flagged those activities as unusual, letting us discover what Bruce is really up to. This, of course, is just a very brief example of the power of ArcSight Intelligence. Now click on that 30-day free trial to really get a first-hand look at what ArcSight Intelligence can do. And don't worry, since ArcSight Intelligence uses the CrowdStrike data you already have, there's no painful integration. Just click and go. No extra work. And as an additional resource at the end of the trial, you'll receive a free, detailed readout of unknown threats in your organization, delivered by our expert team of threat hunters with over 50 years of combined threat hunting experience. So, what are you waiting for? Click that button now before Bruce does something else.